Well, welcome to the latest round of Humans or Data Hub. Um, let's Thank go ahead you. and kick things off with, uh, would you introduce yourself? Tell us where you are, what you do, your team, all of the okay. fun stuff. Okay. Um, I'm Hye Jin Yoon. Um, my name is pronounced A and the drink Jin. So I always hey, explain okay. my name as this. That's good yeah. to know. Hey, Jin. <laughs> So, <laughs> yep. Um, I'm a junior data engineer. Um, I work in a car sharing company in South Korea called Socar, and my team is data platform team. I'm we our team um, is working on a lot of different projects. Um, for example, we manage our own um, clusters, and we also develop our data applications as well. And we are also um, POCing a lot of open source applications as well. And yeah. And actually I've been working here for six months. So I'm a, I'm a quite newbie. So yeah. That's great. <laughs> That's <laughs> and okay, so you've been there for six months. How did you, yep. how did you first learn about Data Hub? Like what brought you into the community? Was it through work? Was it through something else? Um, actually, the project was going on before I um, got on the company. So there's a this a strong need of you know um, introducing a metadata platform to our company, and there's this one um, senior that wants to do it for so long, like over one year. He was really trying to do like this time we'll do it like then <laughs> so <laughs> um so there was this task force and they were just um researching a lot of uh, open source meta metadata platforms and mm -hmm. one of them was data hub and uh, i think yeah i think we were just you know searching for the open source metadata platforms yeah, yeah, thank you for sharing. And so, you know, I know that you said you've been with your team for about six months, but yeah. in that six months, you know, what have you found that you enjoy most about the Data Hub community? Mm, like the most amazing fact was almost every question was answered in the Slack channel. Like that is no other Yay! community like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yay! We love that. That was, that was such a life saver. You don't, you don't really understand like how much it. it does. It just mean for especially a junior um, data engineer like me because um, I could say that I have less background um, knowledges or domain knowledges of this um, deploying applications or something mm. like that. I could be answered to every question yeah. that mm. I need. That's awesome. Well, and I have mm -hmm. to say that you, you've done a great job of answering questions for other people as well. So I want you to know mm -hmm. that we appreciate your support back into the community. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, that was me like three months ago. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> it's, that's yeah. how we that's how we keep it moving. That's great. Mm. Mm. And actually, um, I, I think I like two or three people um, was actually DM'd me for their mm -hmm. questions. So Oh, really? That, so, yeah. That, nice. I feel really proud, actually. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <Come> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You deserve yeah. to feel proud. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. Like, there was like, um, I'm, I'm a like data engineer at some like a company from other countries so like uh -huh. I'm having this prop like problem and I saw your questions about awesome. like this channel and this thread and like have you figured anything out and I was like yeah that makes me so happy really that's awesome uh, yeah <laughs> so you've been there for six months have mm -hmm. you like how have you seen uh data hub Kind of impact your team or like what what is data hub helps with within your your organization mm. um i have to say that i didn't really um openly um publish this application to the whole organization we just demoed to few people and uh, sure. we're in the preparation stage but 
um, we're expecting to like the major thing that we're expecting for Data Hub is a lot of people, like a lot of a various position in our company use mm. data to their daily task. Like for example, not just data analysts or data engineer, for example, like PMs and marketers, mm. they all use data. Like, it's really open. Our data is really open, but like the problem is they're really struggling. Like how can I find this data or like, yeah. what does they, what does this column means? Like what right. does this like abstract word means? Yeah. Some, something like that. And like the questions are really <laughs> like um we have we have our own Slack channel that answers that kind of questions and mm -hmm. um we're just answering by hand and it's really I would say we, it's really unproductive because we're already yeah. busy and you know those kind of questions can be repetitive and everything right and we're expecting to solve like at least nine ninety percent of the questions to data hub like we're just um we're planning to just <laughs> wow <port> forward <laughs> yeah port forward to, to data hub like yeah. here's the link <laughs> again like like that's amazing um, finally, like like i hope that at the end of the day we just you know remove that channel and just you know yeah promoting the data hub to our company and no one just asks such questions like us. <laughs> so, totally yeah that's mm. awesome you can do yeah. it 90 percent. you can do that you can get there i believe yeah. in you yeah i believe yeah. it because <laughs> kind of thinking ahead what are you most excited to see happen with data hub in 2022 i recently saw that um now we can ingest metadata in like on the data UI and you can also schedule them on the UI. And I think that is, uh, I think that can be useful because I don't want to say like technical things, but we are just solving that problem into like using other platforms called yeah. Apache Airflow. And it's like a different scheduler and, you know, we're just connecting like three other platforms with it. But if you can just ingest it on the UI, that can be very helpful. And there's one. And another thing is a view-based policy called RBAC. Um, like currently Data Hub doesn't have a view-based policy. Like every user can see every data exactly. on the platform. It's coming where it'll, it'll happen. Really? Yeah, it'll happen. Like, hopefully. <laughs> don't, when, don't, exactly. don't tell, any, don't to tell it. anyone. It's a secret. <laughs> no, it's 2022 yeah. in summer, <laughs> please. <laughs> it should happen in, um, in the next like month or two. Really? Don't tell anyone. <laughs> No, you can, you can tell. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> yeah, it's on wow, our it's because, on our um it's on our Q1 roadmap. Yeah. Because I almost had to do it for do it for myself. Like no, like, oh no. <laughs> can you do it? Like like oh maybe. <laughs> yeah. So, do, do I really like do we really need it? Like right, we exactly. Have this about that. Yeah. Mm. So it should be it should be in uh it should be in Q1. That's, that's a thing. great, that's a great news. <laughs> uh, like thinking about Data Hub as a whole, you know, kind of like the current set of, of features. Is there mm -hmm. any part of Data Hub that you think is like the most impactful, um, like either through use case or through future or through even like the developer experience and actually like integrating mm -hmm. with it? Like what, what about mm -hmm. data hub? Would you say like, that's what I love about it. And I realized actually, I'm... actually I wrote a post about this and oh, that's I, right. I, I, yes. Yeah. I, I think, forgot I about that. I, yeah. I was, <laughs> and I picked just like 10, like about 
10 or so topics about wow. you know, some important things that you should consider um, when you deploying met metadata platform. And the first thing was it's UI. Mm. Like every developer, but like it's a platform that everyone in the company should use. So like the UI is really, really important, I think. I'm a developer, but like yeah, that's like when you when I like go to the meeting, that's the most like, oh yeah. Like, <laughs> the UI is more um, you know, pretty and everything. And that's yeah. the one. And as a developer side, um I compared to like the same operation like for example like in just like using the same data source and mm -hmm. ingesting the same metadata to different applications like for mm -hmm. example data and amundsen and the surprising thing was the the program the script that is used by mm -hmm. that is used for the metadata ingestion like for example in data hub that, that was just like 10 lines of script. But uh -huh. when you do the same operation to other applications, you need like over 100, like at least 50 lines or oh, like, geez. for example, the, uh, the example script on GitHub was over 400 lines. Like, oh, you cannot just, you know, <laughs> yeah. see them in one. Right, right. Screen. It's a lot to like go through, a lot to understand yeah, what's happening. Like, yeah. Yeah. So the, the question that we like to end on is what is your favorite data hub Slack channel and why? Because there are a lot, a lot of different channels with a lot mm -hmm. of good stuff on each. But yeah, would love to hear what your favorite is. Mm, I'll say I love the ingestion channel most because I ask questions there of like the most and <laughs> like the reason that I asked the question on the channel the most is I was um the mo that was the most struggling part for me because like other things like the other part that um other part was just okay like I could use Helm chart and I could use just um some other things but ingestion that on the ingest part, ingestion part um there. Yeah. yeah. So yes. so many variables yes. that totally. that could fail. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I was so frustrated. And you know, you could you just scroll over, then like, you you can you could see my evolution through time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's been yeah. a real journey, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's been a real journey. Um, okay. So then one one other question for you, if you. Actually, I have two more questions. Um, mm -hmm. So if you uh, met someone who was brand new to Data Hub, mm -hmm. what, ad what advice would you give them? Mm. First, you join the Data Hub Slack. Yeah. Space. That's the first advice. And <laughs> like, just, just do it. Just join. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. That's, you know, that's the place where every information you need. Yeah. <laughs> And, and uh, say, first, you need to know what, like, what data sources you want to ingest to Data Hub, because that, you know, if you do that, it just, you know, narrow the scope a lot more. Yeah. So there are pl plenty of um, different data sources, and uh, it's slightly different. Like, the ingest just methodology is a slightly different. So, yeah. if you choose, like, if you decide like what data source and what database or table you need to ingest to data hub then you'll just sort of everything naturally yeah awesome. that's my advice and that's good uh, advice <laughs> mm, i'm thinking more of a community wise answer just you know post a question you know frequently like yeah. someone can answer it and you know feel appreciated for that and maybe like three months later six months later you can just you know answer them for other yeah. um, members as well and that's how community works so you're right you're to ask questions <laughs> and answer it <laughs>
Oh my gosh, this is so great. I'm loving every second of this. Um, okay, then I have one more. I have one more question. We have a, um, like within, within the Data Hub Slack community, we literally have people in every single time zone. There are people mm -hmm. from all over the world. And so mm -hmm. I'm curious, what should, like, what's happening where you are in like the data governance space? Like what's happening in Korea that mm -hmm. other people might want to know about? In Maybe that's a data governance space. Yeah. Or just like data engineering or just like what's, what's exciting mm -hmm. over there? Oh, what's exciting over there? I also don't know okay. how I would answer this question. So I, it just came to me. And so I apologize. <laughs> that is a color question, Maggie. Yeah. That's so good. What's exciting about what's this? What's exciting? Um, like, is there anything that's happening where you live that like, okay. just feels distinctly I, local? Like first thing, like when I was working on this a metadata platform project, I felt that the need for metadata platform was rising like mm -hmm. it wasn't before but it's rising now yeah like, because um there are this um um there are this company uh, like a fintech company in uh -huh. um, korea and they have this tech book and they also posted about um comparing metadata platform and how they introduce metadata platform to this company and um also the other like other data engineer in the different companies are also interested in introducing metadata platforms in their company and they also um doing the same um they have the same concerns about like what metadata platform should be used like how are they different and everything yeah and that's why like i was writing the post as well like yeah interest of to this is rising and we have to you know promote our company to that something like that <laughs> yeah yeah and there's that and uh the other thing is i don't think this is actually um just for the data governance place, but it's for all the develop developers. But the working from home culture mm -hmm. is just spreading. Like it wasn't yeah. before. Like um, it was just like my secret dream to just working <laughs> from home and everything. Like oh, like it it was it would be so nice to work, you know, with yeah. my kitty. Like. Yeah, my like you know, arm yes. <laughs> but like now it's almost mandatory to work yeah to work from home all all from the omicrons like that so yeah i think that's that's was some rapid change yeah to, you, know, you know what's interesting is i feel like the this is just me me personally speaking um mm -hmm. as soon as as soon as the pandemic hit I and you know, is at home nonstop all the time forever. Um, that's when I started getting really involved in more kind of like global or mm -hmm. you know communities outside of just like my media office, right? Where mm -hmm. it's just like it just all of a sudden felt more accessible somehow, and I don't know what that yeah. was, but it was like oh, we're all just at home together. So yes, <laughs> do you want to collaborate or what? <laughs> You want to like build something like, cool There's together? no difference when you're, oh. you know, when you're 10 minutes away or you're right, on the exactly. other side of the globe. Yeah, <laughs> it's so, so bizarre. Well, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, Hyjin, it's been just a total pleasure to get to know you. This has been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if you need anything more, I'm always open. Yes. So. Thank you awesome. so much Thank you for spending <laughs> your morning with us. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have to go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's time to go back to bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can yeah. just thank you down. so much. It was great to meet you. Thank Enjoy you your so day. Much. It was so we'll great talk to you later. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.